everyone, welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. It is a different vibe over here because today we are tapping into the sign of Libra for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus, wherever you have the Libra placement in your chart, you can apply this reading to. Before we get started, DM my Instagram in the description below. If you'd like your own private tarot reading, you can ask whatever question you want for your spread. Like this video, please subscribe to my channel and comment below what video you wanna see next. So let's get right into it, Libra. going on for Libra during this time? What are the messages for Libra? Let's see what we got. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's start here. So we have value and settling. Ooh, 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 ooh. Libra's gonna have to make a decision soon, okay? I can already feel that tapping in. <laughs> Um, you're stuck. You're stuck between two different energies with two different outcomes, Libra. So let's start with value. Stop putting yourself down. If you don't believe in yourself, don't expect anyone else to see the value in you. So this is that whole mat like um, saying where it's like, no one can love you unless you love yourself, which isn't necessarily true. I've seen perfectly healthy relationships between people who, you know, maybe one person is like depressed and one person is like high vibe, like some some people just have extra love to give so I don't necessarily believe that but Libra tapping in okay um, there's definitely a need for you to value yourself yeah there's definitely a need for you to see your own value and then we have settling may the best man or woman win don't ever settle for anything less um, in any of your relationships or connections you deserve the best so reflect that in yourself and to others you care about if they cannot give you the best in return to you and to themselves then let them go so this is about realizing your value and not settling may the best man or woman win okay the person who is the best for you the person who's able to offer you the best um, of opportunities and if you feel like you're attracting low vibe people it could be a reflection of you if you're low vibe you're gonna attract that towards you so make sure you do your very best to work on yourself as well so that your options can continue to grow and expand and you can continue to grow and expand your dating pool your circle all of that but yeah definitely don't settle Libra so we have make the decision for some of you guys <laughs> I'm almost feeling like um, you're trying to decide what you want. Like, I, I feel like some of you guys are like stuck between settling or not. Um, it's time for the decision to be made regardless of how difficult it may be. Make the decision and move on with things. You've been contemplating long enough. So you guys have been thinking about doing something or making some sort of decision for a while now. It's time to go ahead and do it, Libra. It's going to cause growth. It's going to cause change and it's going to, you know, help with that expansion as well. So go ahead and make your decision and stick to it. Do not waver on this one. Trust your intuition. All right, so we have desperation and blame. Desperation, don't come off as desperate to anyone regardless of how passionate you feel. Temper yourself and do things in moderation. Calm down until you get your emotions in check. Libra, you don't typically struggle with this until you're already like in love with someone or until you're really, really close to them. So for those of you, depending on if you're seeming like you're willing to give more than anyone would reasonably say you should, it depends on... It really depends on how you feel. It depends on how you feel about someone. Um, so we have blame. Don't blame people for your own weaknesses. You are your own person, so it is your responsibility to find your own sense of worth, love, strength, stand tall. You have it already within you. These, This is the notebook uh, deck from King of Aloha Tarot. I'm going to link him below. You can find them here on YouTube, but I love how straightforward and real these cards are because sometimes the cards are so um, positive and uplifting that we kind of skate over the grit of the situation and it's important to acknowledge the full extent of what we're feeling right now. If you've been blaming people, Libra, it's, it's definitely a natural reaction. We all go through like the blaming portion of you know heartbreak or whatever situation we're in so that is completely natural but it's time to transform the situation and take action on it make the decision what are you gonna do I feel like for some of you this definitely has to do with love but for some of you you're having trouble with a friendship lately like nowadays you're really kind of struggling with a friendship because they're not giving you 
either as much as you give them. Um, I'm also hearing, make sure you're actually giving someone. Don't um, hold someone to the standard of the potential that you have. So, you know, you can't say, I would do this and this and this and this for someone because if you, if you haven't actually done it, then they're not standing up to that. They have to stand up to what you're giving them at this time. So make sure you're, you know, not being too hard on people because of the potential of what you have to do for them. Um, judge what you should be getting from people um, by what you have given, okay? All right, let's see what we got going on. Yeah, the universe is definitely trying to, ooh, we got the queen of staffs here. This is feeling romantic for me. Big Aries energy, big fire sign energy. Maybe someone has a Gemini in Aries or you're dealing with an Aries. Libra, but with the three of coins, there's like, why was that sticking out so much to me? That Aries energy specifically. I feel like there is someone in your life that may be a fire sign, may have a lot of Aries in their chart that can really help you at this time and move you forward. Other than that, honestly, tapping into this queen of staffs driven energy is going to benefit you at this time. But the universe is trying to tell you to communicate with it um, and to work with it. The magician in reverse, eight of coins in reverse, it's not going to benefit you to do this all alone at this time. You really need to be listening to the universe. You may want to take a walk, spend some time in nature, meditate, do all of those spiritual things that really kind of connect you and ground you. Um, and even if it, you know, a lot of people would be like, oh, the universe connecting with me. I didn't hear anything. I didn't see anything on my walk. It's not always physical, especially depending on how spiritually tapped in you are. Um, your guides, the universe does not want to scare you. So if it's not something on the regs or something you've been worn, warmed up to, you're not going to see visions and hear actual voices like, some people do like I do but um yeah guys I, I feel like you're still going to get the information that you need and it may come as a revelation or a spirit animal an angel number um it may come through you know those type of ways for you guys so make sure you give yourself the time and space not to just be alone but to um get the downloads of the universe too for direction if you're truly truly um lost but i feel like most of you guys know what decision you want to make i don't feel like it's a matter of what i feel like it's a matter of doing <clears throat> so we have the ace of coins the knight of swords and the knight of coins so we got some knight energy here this is definitely going to take some vulnerability it's going to take some giving for you guys to get to the bag whether the bag is actual money whether the bag is love whether the bag is fulfillment for you guys to get um a full cup so to speak you're gonna have to give you're gonna have to be vulnerable <laughs> And the thing is, the knights have been hurt before. They're not pages anymore. They're not as optimistic, bright-eyed, and bushy-tailed. They've definitely been through some life. This is progression. There is now trust the universe has that you can handle things. You've got new tools, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. <laughs> Let me see. I was just wondering if I had a knight card I can show you because it's so funny. The knights don't even have shield, or I'm sorry, the pages. I just passed one, but it's not a good example. The pages don't even have shields. Like, they literally have nothing. I just passed one, I think. Oh, here we go. Like, the page of coins, like, they don't even have shields. They're not, yeah. The point is, <laughs> I'm just getting a little nerdy about tarot, but the point is, um, this is progression. The, the, the night, even though it's been through pain and suffering and different challenges and things like that, it doesn't use them as weaknesses. It doesn't put blame on other people. Like, this person hurt me. Everyone is horrible. It says, you know what? This is life. I'm going to move forward and I'm going to pursue my happiness regardless. Or not. It's up to you. Um, Eight of Cups. Ten of Cups in reverse. Um, for some of you, that's what I was just picking up on. That's so crazy. For some of you, you don't care anymore. For some of you, you're still willing to try. Um, tap into your intuition at this time. There may be an intuition, an intuitive block. You may be sitting in too much of a masculine energy to feel that intuition come through that allows you to feel the feels and allows you to transmute them um, through that, you know, true divine feminine power. It has nothing to do with male or female either. We all have masculine and feminine energy, but some of you guys are sitting in too much of a masculine energy to the point where um, you don't see the potential, the possibility. Let's see 
what we got. Ooh, okay. Secrets is really sticking out to me, Libra. Someone's got some secrets. Someone's not being completely honest with you and you're still trying to figure that out. For some of you, you're kind of stuck in the past a little bit because there were, there were secrecy, there was tit for tat, there was things that have not been revealed and now you guys are just wanting the answers, the truth of the situation. You don't feel like you could move on from it unless you know the full picture. You feel like there are still things left undone, things left, you know, or I'm sorry, you feel like things are still kind of up in the air. And then we have the no strings card. <laughs> what the heck is happening? Some of you guys, this is the Joey Aloha Tarot deck, by the way, or a uh, uh, card deck. You can uh, bug him if you want one to see if he'll sell you one. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, guys, we have no strings here. Some of you guys are like, I want something no strings attached because anytime I've had strings attached or anytime I've, you know, dedicated myself to someone, loved someone, it's just kind of gone awry. And some of you just, just aren't feeling it at this point anymore. But some of you guys are wanting to untangle yourself from this person that kept these secrets from you or kind of like hid these. There's something hidden. There's definitely something hidden. I can feel it myself. We have the universe in harmony here. So regardless, I think honestly, it's just time for you to detach. I think it's just time for you to detach Libra from that old timeline, from those old people and just to let it go. Um, regardless of the truth of the situation, you don't need to know the truth in order to move on. Is it going to bug you? Yeah. But time heals all. There's no quick trick. You know, there's no magic um, solution to feeling that way. The only thing is to tap into that high priestess intuitive power. Um, the universe will support you. I feel harmony being brought back into your life. Some of you guys have a new love on the way and we're gonna have a breakthrough here so it's just a matter of being open to it honestly my curiosity is peaked as well i almost want to pull more tarot but my guides are telling me not to specifically not to not to it's coming through so clear for me and i'm not trying to get in a, have my guides on my neck so i'm gonna leave that alone but i'm curious as well like i want to know what the secret is like you know what's the what's the tea but it's not meant for you guys to know it honestly truly isn't it may be something yeah I'm not even gonna try to tap into that let's keep going let's keep going mm-hmm yep we have illusions and mystery <laughs> We have illusions and mysteries. So quite literally here, a lot of you are still wanting the truth of that situation. And then we have restoration. Some of you guys are like, I'm going to feel better once I just get the truth. If I can just have the truth and have XYZ be honest with me or know what really happened, what is really on their mind, you know, what's really going on, the reason why they really did this, like... I can move on, but the universe is saying, I, I, listen, at least not for now. We do have the breakthrough energy. Hmm. <laughs> Someone is definitely hiding a secret. It is bothering me. I will say that. I definitely feel your pain. Um, we have peace and balance and beginnings. We literally got harmony as well from the other deck. I feel a new beginning happening with new love for you guys. We have sunshine and protection. You guys, if you've been spending a lot of time inside, definitely go get some rays, okay? Before it's winter and you can't anymore. That's going to help raise your vibration. Get some fresh air, Libra. Let's see what else comes out for you. We got the unicorn. Hummingbird. The rabbit. turtle okay I'll take these 
All right, let's start with the unicorn. This one says purity, wisdom, and action. You're being guided to have faith in yourself, the knowledge you possess, and the magic of the universe. You are where you are supposed to be. Fill your way through each segment of your life. You will clearly see your next move and take action. Big results are the ripple effect of inspired action. So the universe is definitely trying to send you intuitive nudges, and those are only going to come through if you're you know, connected to that intuition. You may want to listen to some crown chakra opening music on YouTube. You can find it on YouTube. Um, just look at the comments. Make sure the comment to view ratio is accurate. Make sure the comments are not disabled. Make sure it's a legit video, you know. Um, but beyond that, you may want to listen to some crown chakra opening music. You can do that literally while you're sleeping just so you can crack open that crown. You may even lucid dream <laughs> um, while you're sleeping so that you can get your intuition flowing again. We got the hummingbird and the rabbit. Confidence, motion, and adventure for the hummingbird. You're being guided to be grateful for the many relationships within your life, including the one that you have with yourself. You possess the power to attract positive changes in your life. Uh, expand and stretch yourself in new ways. Love yourself unconditionally, and the world will do the same. And then we have, and that for some of you guys who are wanting to manifest someone, wanting someone to come back, wanting a relationship with someone, we literally got uh, new love here. So I do feel like new love is coming towards you regardless. But, um, you know, you, you, we keep getting it. We keep getting it. Like, I feel like you guys may be a little down in the dumps, Libra, because we get all these hints for, you know, for you guys to love yourself and really take care of yourself and nurture yourself at this time. You may be being too hard on yourself. We need the mother and the father, okay? So make sure you're giving yourself some of that maternal intuitive feminine love but um hummingbird spirit there's another you know indication that libra needs to give themselves a little tlc so you can get that in return from other people um, so we have the rabbit with opportunity, birth, and creativity. You're being guided to clean out your mental closet, release emotional baggage, and find your inner child and design your life your way. Open your eyes, mind, and heart to the opportunities around you and stay in one spot long enough to appreciate the moment. All right, so the deer and the sea turtle just keep swimming. So the deer, speed, accuracy, and endurance. You are being guided to no longer stand in the shadows of fear. Begin today to allow yourself to be seen. What you seek is there to be found. Take inspired action and a leap of faith towards your heart's desires. So two uh, notes of taking inspired action we've got from two different cards. And then the last one we have is the sea turtle. Survival, ancient wisdom, and endurance. You're being guided to clean out your emotional closet, confront your fears, and experience and your sense of self your mind body and soul are intricately intertwined it's not how you start or how fast you go but rather how you follow through and execute your plans that will bring you your heart's desires so you definitely want to pursue the things that you're wanting make the decision okay libras are known for being indecisive okay make the decision pick a side and move towards that so yeah, babes, that was your message. DM my Instagram in the description below. If you'd like a private tarot reading, you can ask whatever question you want. Like this video, please subscribe to my channel and comment below at video you want to see next. I love you. Be careful what you wish for and I will see you in the next one.